the Department of Extranormal Operations. What are you men doing? Gruel, hey, you seen the weirdo yet? Supergo brought him in last Monday. Freaky guy with all the tech in his head? I know, Bedard. His name is Real Docs. I helped load him into his cell. What about him? So, you haven't seen it yet. Show her. Okay. So the cell block cameras record 24 to 7, right? But we don't actively watch our house guests unless there's an alert. Otherwise, our watchdog program is just a random scan algorithm that monitors everyone. Got it. And? And so, here's footage of Docs when we're just recording. Looks asleep, right? Anytime no one is watching him directly, he's out like a light. But when you switch the cameras to active... What? Yeah, Docs gets up in your grill. Is he... Is he standing on his bunk to get that close to the camera? How could he know when we're actively watching? Does a light turn on, on the camera? Anything? Nothing. Spooky, right? You secure that mouth, Wallace. Does Director Henshaw know about this yet? Filed the report over the weekend. Good. I'm going to recommend three armed agents in Dox's cell at all times. He wants to be monitored? We'll monitor the hell out of him. Now quit slacking and get back to work. Yes, ma'am. Someone has been watching me. Near the Mojave Desert. Watching you, how, Kara? And is that why we're out here on a 5 a.m. drive to destinations unknown? Aye, aye. You know, I've never ridden in one of these before. They're cramped. Flying's way better. They're designed for utility, Kara, not comfort. And don't change the subject. You made me pull a DEO truck out in the middle of the night and promised you'd explain on the way out here. We're on the way. Why are we out here? Because of Rampage. Rampage was living a quiet life, forgotten, out of the way, just someone trying to fade into the background. She could have killed me in the sewers, but she didn't. Why not? Kara, we were lucky. It's frankly a miracle we were able to stop Rampage before more people were hurt. Why are you trying to figure out the motivations of a Fort Ross fugitive? Because they don't quite add up. She hated you, tossed you from that bridge, but she let me live. Why? You were a target, Alex. I was collateral damage. Keeping you alive didn't work out so well for her. A week later, Wynn gets maliciously attacked by real Docs. My entire office was shut down for the day. Docs referred to a woman paying him to come after Wynn and his friends. And since Wynn doesn't exactly have friends, they really meant. Me, three weeks later, tonight, an alien named Sai invaded my dreams. Things got weird. Don't think things went like she planned. She didn't know what I can do in my dreams. Okay. I'll bite. What can you do in your dreams? Remember that tape we had where those kids created weapons in their dreams to fight monsters? I can do that times, like, a thousand. It's a Kryptonian dreaming technique called Terriger. My sister the dream warrior. Aliens and Freddy's best beware. Sai had never encountered anyone like me before. She was shocked. I showed her the truth in my mind and made her a promise. Okay, that makes almost zero sense. But, you made a promise to do what? Come on, it's just over that ridge. I know this place, Kara. Why are we here? When Fort Ross crashed through Earth's atmosphere, pieces of it splintered off across California. Sai died inside one of them. She exists as a purely psychic entity now, restless, unable to move on. As long as her body remains unburied and unblessed, she can't be at peace. When I opened up my mind to her, Sai showed me where to look. And that's why we're here. Down there, hidden underneath this splinter site, our Sai's remains. It's up to us to find them and lay her to rest. So we're here to dig up an alien and then bury her again? That okay? Sure, why not? We've done weirder things together before. I thought there would be more security. Nothing left for them to secure. I looked up the Fort Ross file on my first day at the DEO once they'd cleared all these splinter sites. They fenced M up and bolted. Yeah, well, they missed something. You know, we're out here all alone and didn't tell anyone we were coming. Maybe we should call in before we go any further. <laughs> Don't worry, I left a message for Henshaw. Fair enough. I see flooring about 10 feet down. I'll carry you. Besides, I'm a dream warrior and you're the most hardcore DEO agent I know. What's the worst that could happen down there? You were saying? Just keep shooting. Okay, so someone left some kind of security behind. What was that language? Kryptonian. 
and they weren't saying anything good. So there are Kryptonian robots guarding this place? That doesn't seem. Wait, do you hear that? Kara, what are they? Really glad that worked. And respond in English. We serve AZZZT. Error. Sod sod. Error. We serve no one. Services to Krypton. What is your purpose here? We guard the future. What do you mean, the future? Explain. We guard Kara Zorel. What? Kara, what do they mean? And is Sai here or not? Follow me. Kara, wait. Kara, slow down. Kara, Kara, oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Kryptonian sunstones of my family. Pictures of us as kids. My first day at Catco. My first day as Supergirl. I've been so careful, but they have pictures of all of it. All of it, Sai said. She said a name, Facet. I think Facet's been watching me for a very, very long time. They could know everything about us. Eliza, you. I know, Kara, but I need you clear-headed right now. Whoever did this is still out there. And they've gone to great lengths to lead us here. Yes, Master Facet. She is in place, awaiting your orders.